Hey guys, welcome back. And I have an awesome little thing we're doing today. Today we're looking at a brand new game that I've never ever heard of. Saw the box and I figured, why not give it a shot? And the thing is pretty cool. I found this game in my local mall, and it was pretty pretty cheap for being brand new. It's uh, yeah, I'll show you guys in a minute. But the thing is, this would be a little bit different video because again, it's something I never even open it yet yeah, I just opened up the wrapping right now and I'm going I really want to see what's inside so you can see my reaction to something I've never seen before and maybe a little short little video just to see you know what the rules look like what the pieces look like and the board as well um, so I'm excited to show you guys and let's get right to it so we're looking at this game called Ray Guns and Rocket Ships a game by Scott Rogers now the thing is is when I bought this game, the reason why it got my attention was because on the back it says, hope you can see it, it is by game designer Scott Rogers, God of War. So I want to know exactly what that means. So on the back of the box it says, the fate of the galaxy is up for grabs, but who will take control? The brash Astro Rangers, the powerful uh, Star Pirates, the Brutal Zard, or the alien Blarg. Very fun names, of course. As the captain of a daring group of, of planeteers, you'll maneuver your powerful rocket ship through the space by pre-programming command cards. Then roll your dice to fire your ray guns. Need to take action fast? Need to take action fast? Sorry about that. Send your crew to put up fires, man the engines, or even board enemy rocket ships. Game designer Scott Rogers hashtag or in, in uh, parentheses God of War will have you strapping on your jetpacks and taking the battle into the depths of space. Which faction will you control among the stars? That's up to you. You decide in ray guns and rocket ships. So what's in this game is basically it says here a rule book, episode book, which I'm guessing that means each uh, area has their own little episode and everything, which is pretty cool. Uh, four rocket, rocket ship maps. Uh, four rocket ship miniatures, 24 crew member miniatures, and it goes through the rest of the group, which is pretty cool. Um, two to four players, 90 minutes of play time, 8 to 14 plus. Uh, so we're going to open this up for the very first time on this video. And we're going to see what the components look like. And the board looks almost, I mean, it's, it's a brand new board and it feels amazing. Oh, that, that sound. And the smell, it smells like like a fresh, brand new board game. Just the way it should smell, right? Alright, so we have here two of the, of, of the package, of the, the rules here. Or well, not rules, but the rules in the episode book. And they are, they're not that thick, but I'm guessing there's, I'm going to say 20 pages. 19. So I'm I'm literally right on the edge. So 20 or 19 for the rule book. And the episodes, I'm not sure how many episodes there are. Let's see, this is 23 pages long. Episode 10. Um very, very cool. And the thing that's pretty cool is you have here you have your advanced rules token that you need, episodes, and then it goes on to how to set up for each episode. That's really cool. I have a D&D uh, &D game, uh, a series of games from D&D. &D. They are from Wizards of the Coast, I believe. And they actually have this where you can, you see what you're set up and then what your components you need and then the storyline goes with it. So like the, um, the scenario is, Star Pirates have been terrorizing civilian rocket ships that pass through the t core systems. Jesse Nova Star of the Astro Rangers has come up with a daring plan to lure the space pirates out of their bolt hole in the Semite asteroid belt. Dis disguising their rocket ship as a lightly armored merchant ship, the Astro Rangers pose a bait as bait for the greedy star pirates. Interesting. So the idea is basically you I'm guessing you're just going through like an actual Storyline, kind of, it almost reminds me of like a Star Trek type of thing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So basically, you're 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 finding other things that you can go through, and you go through this, like episodes, if you would, in like Star Trek. That is very very cool. Now I'm assuming the rule book is gonna be 
Oh wow, look at these. Wow. That is very, very cool how how it lays out like what look what they're supposed to look like and everything. Very, very cool. I like that a lot. I really do. I, I, I appreciate being able to see all the components where they should belong. The setup and it shows the entire setup about how it should look. Uh what they should look like and then the rules are right there, how to set up and what the game be looking like. That is amazing. I, I enjoy a good game like this. Um for for me it would have to be I would need a friend to play again who I can actually read these rules with and can actually can talk with them and understand more of the game with them. Barring a ray gun, how it works. Wow. Dodging a range attack. So basically it's like And then it shows example rounds. So they shows uh, I'm gonna say page fourteen for those who want to find a certain page for the for the you know what they need example page. The example page is basically is gonna help you learn you know for by example. So so in case you you have a friend there to talk to about what the rules sound like, you can run through them by yourself and go okay. Well for example, this is what these these do, and I'm gonna show you up close. So example like round start, turn start, the phase, and then continue on. And uh, that is that is I love games that do that. So for those who are like trying to learn how to build a game, something that all of us I think could agree on is we enjoy the phases, and it shows like how to do this certain game that we're not stuck on. Like, well, in this scenario, this happened, and they say, well, tough luck, and it's like, okay, well, I really want to know how this actually runs. Um. And again, the artwork in this game, this this board game, it looks it's amazing. I mean, it looks awesome. And I I would just I would assume that the guy behind us who did God of War, he he put a lot of thought and time in this. And I'm really looking forward to playing this game. And uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna probably tear apart the entire thing um, because there's a lot of components. And this is the board. Again, this is brand new out of the package, and I am like, oh my gosh, I am like freaking out right now. Oh wow! So we have Vaporia, Zerdia, Ventura, and Eden. Awesome. So we have four little plants here, and I guess this is like a battle board in a sense, or venture board. Very cool. It's a uh, nothing in the back. All right. So we have pieces for that. I'm guessing. Very cool, it slides into just a little block for that. And this is gonna be the components that I have to have fun drawing them out of the packages. So, and there's quite a lot. The Blarg Collective, that's pretty cool. So I'm assuming these are all four different factions, I guess. And then we have the color coded for the certain factions as well. I mean, look at the detail on these guys. I mean, let me get one out. I mean, again, this is, I'm like freaking out right now. This is so, so cool. Um, again, it's the first time touching these things. First time bringing these out. Oh my goodness. I mean, the ships are in like pristine condition. They're beautiful. Um, they're numbered in the bottom. So this is a 19. I'm not sure what that means, but uh, I'm trying to see if I can get a uh, good alien out here for you guys. We have an alien. Oh my goodness, he looks so cool. Alright, so this is like amazing for me. Like this, this again, this is raw footage. <laughs> uh cool little alien guy. I mean the detail is spot on. Like whoever designed these put a lot of thought on these guys. And uh yeah, I'm I'm very impressed. So I can't wait to play this game with some friends. Um and each of them are are getting color coded for the the faction they need. Uh, I think we have humans here. Yeah, reds are human, I guess, and blue are or maybe blue is human. I'm not gonna go through all of it right now because I don't want to make it too long of a video. We have four dice, very very cool. Uh, we have the cards are still unwrapped. I'm not gonna unwrap them until I'm ready, but that is very cool. Little design to the back, little dragon. Cool little art on the uh, the cards here. What is this here though? There's more bags here too. I'm, I'm assuming this is for the pieces that we have to uh, pop out of the wrap here. But this is, looks like the 
Maybe it's going to be the character sheets for each character. Let's try open them to find out. I can't open them. Uh oh. I don't want to rip anything, so I'm being very careful. Oh, cool. It's just, it opens right on the side. This is, I, I am like, this is so cool. So we have Jesse Novastar, Monster Brain, Count Ranchura, okay, Vanguard Varnus, Vanguard Varnus, then Route to Victory. Interesting. We have different factions or different leaders of factions. Uh, so let's see. Jesse is the Astro Ranger Captain. Master Brain is the Blarg Captain. Count Venture is the Star Pilot Captain. And then Fanglard Varnus is the Zarg Captain, which are dragons apparently. So space dragons. Very cool. So yes, I, I am looking forward to playing this game. If you guys want to see me play sometime, um, what I could do is maybe stream this or record us playing this in time. Me and some of my crew, we could try to play this. Or I could bring this to a certain location that's in my hometown. They they like to play new games a lot. And I would love to see what they think about this game, if they ever played before or not. Um, so I'll put this back where everything is at. This stays there. This goes on top here, like that. Boom. I want to see if it actually does close the way I like to hear it close. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I like hearing the, the box kind of just kind of slide on. Here we go in three, two, one. Ah, uh, well, I didn't do what I thought I was gonna do, but it sounds good. So there's that. So again, I got this brand new Ray Guns and Rocket Ships at my local mall, and I am ready to play it. I'm so ready to play it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the board game, let me know in the comments below. Um, also, just take a look at it online and see if it's something you would want to play. And then if you want to follow along on the next time we play this game, if we do, let me know if you want to follow along and we'll play maybe together. So, we'll see how, how that works out too. So, anyhow, take care. Have an awesome rest of your day. As always, have a little laugh in life. And I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Peace and love.